what, what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Brittany Renner has been romantically linked to a number of celebrities, including dun, 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 James Harden, Drake, Ben Simmons, Lil Uzi Vert, Chris Brown, etc., etc., Cashman Sweater. But Brittany has a message for her detractors. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. She didn't say those exact words, but I knew that's what she was thinking. Brittany took to social media to express herself after coming under attack by so many people for allegedly grooming NBA young superstar P.J. Washington, who's only 22 years old. Brittany is 29 years old. People are saying that Brittany finessed P.J. out of his millionaire semen, got pregnant and had his child to secure the bag. She's been called a thot and an H-O-E and all kinds of stuff. Brittany said, well, you know, I realize that my light is so bright that when I turn on it, uh, the roaches just scatter and I'm going to continue to be me and, uh, hey, get over it. All right, all right. Fam, now I ain't got a dog in the fight. But I'm going to tell you something. Do I think that Brittany Renner is a good person? No, I don't. But do she get me like outraged like she gets some uh, some people? No, 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 because I'm gonna tell you something, fam. Unfortunately, we live in the type of society where you see a fool, you use a fool. And PJ Washington was a fool. Just like so many of these other celebrities out here who fall for Instagram models who are thoughts who will tell you straight up they are about the bag. All they do is get on Instagram and show off shoes and purses and vacation destinations, and things of that nature. Everything is about access and excess. All they do is show you material stuff. Their heads are empty inside. There's nothing there of substance. And they do show off their ass sets. You know, they're showing the cleavage. You know? Everything is, you know, about material things in their body. So they're telling you up front, this is what I have to offer. This is all I got for you. And for a number of these dudes, that's enough until they mess around and put a baby in the oven. You dig what I'm saying? And bam, all of a sudden she's everything but a child of God. At first that year, you're holding hands with her, you're coupled up, you couples goals, you booed up. And here comes the drama. Now she wants her money. And guess what? She's gonna get her money because that's the game. You ain't going to be able to get around the game. The game will be here when all of us are gone. This game is one of the longest games in the book. It's not going to change. So I don't feel sorry for PJ Washington or none of these dudes. They get what they get. Just like Brittany is going to get what she get. Now, she has this attitude where she appears to be confident and she feels like, you know, I am a person who is comfortable in my skin and if you don't like it, go to hell. But we've seen that before. That's nothing but a defense mechanism. 
at the end of the day, I don't care what they say, we are all human beings and we want to be loved by somebody unconditionally. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't care how many times you've been hurt. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, you really desire to have someone who loves you for you. That is the way we are wired. Damn what society has brought us to become. We are all wired to want to be loved by somebody unconditionally. Somebody we ain't got to worry about, man, this got my back, oh, he's standing in the back, no. See, but a lot of us, we try to act hard and we try to act tough because we don't want others to think that we are food, to think that we're a soft target. So we put up this front, even me. I'm single right now, but I do desire a woman who I feel like is going to have my back unconditionally. I don't care what y'all do out here. It ain't a woman born who can make me turn my back on women and that feeling that you get of being in love. Ain't no woman born can make me turn my back on that. It's too great of a feeling. It's too great of, of, of an experience. And that is an essential thing that human beings need. We were made for each other. We wasn't made to be talking about, I'm on my own, I ain't got nobody, fuck everybody. Uh, don't trust none of these hoes, I don't trust nobody, and da, da, da. Man, that's all street talk, that's all, that's fallacy, man. That ain't, that, that ain't nothing, that ain't nothing. I know the truth. So, I do wanna go down this road, though. And again, I don't have a dog in the fight. But why is Brittany Renner considered a hoe and not, say, Rupert Murdoch's wife who walked off with $1.7 billion, Tiger Woods' wife, $710 million, Mel Gibson's wife, I think, 400 and some million, Jeff Bezos' wife, 38 Billion. I have yet to hear one person call her a hoe. Now, is it because Britney's closer to the culture? People think that they know her because she dates people that are in the within the culture. What is it? I'm not saying she is or she isn't a hoe. I'm just saying, what are the qualifications? Like and. Where is that same energy? I need to know, fam. Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?